I'll just say this. If, if any of my children brought either of you, any of you over, I would be very um, pleased. Aww. Yeah! What I'm gonna be like a 50 year old. <laughs> <laughs> More! Lunch break! This episode of Lunch Break is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all in one platform to build a beautiful online presence for you and your business. Thanksgiving break. We're actually doing a real episode on Thanksgiving. Mashed potatoes. Yes. Some type of bird. <laughs> yeah, some type of bird. It's not four tailors this time. It is. That's true. Is this like we broke the tradition? I actually think people are going to be upset oh, by no. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, can always go back. Can yeah. <laughs> Today we have our plus one, Alan, who recommended American food. So we got Popeyes. Mm. Yeah, American as Thanksgiving right here. Have you? on like Thanksgiving ever brought over guests before? Because it's such a family holiday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever had friends come over? Like on the day? On the day of, like oh. to eat with you. It's like Friendsgiving. No, but like no. to meet your family, yeah. you know? Oh. You know, because like maybe they're out of town, like they, they can't go back for the holidays. And there's all that situations like that. Who has had an, uh, a significant other over for Thanksgiving? I have. I have not. I have not. Have you gone? Have you gone? Yeah. I have gone to a partner's. <gasps> Whoa. Thanksgiving? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I've done both for several years. Well, now you're married to her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you've been and, together. And I proposed for... on Thanksgiving. Oh, oh yeah. So if you didn't, that'd yeah. be weird. That's right. Yeah. Oh my God. I totally forgot about Why that. Why Thanksgiving specifically? Her whole family was going to be there. there. Yeah. Mm. Did they all know that it was going to happen? Her immediate family, yes. That's the ultimate SO coming over for Thanksgiving yeah. event. Is the main reason why, like, it hasn't happened before for you because of distance? For me, yeah, for my current girlfriend, it's because of distance entirely. I think it's like finally the time where we could try to do it. But our families also really love Thanksgiving, you know? Mm. Oh. We're like, it's like so it's Nicole's not... favorite holiday, my family likes it a lot, so like we, we like being together. And if one person isn't there, and you know that they're at the other family. Yeah. It's a little... It's a little weird, it could be. Tense, yeah. but, but I want to hear about your guys' experience. You guys have done it. It was a long time ago at this point. Actually, same. Even though Helen and I were together, same thing. Like, it's because so, she's from Boston, so it's already very rare that she gets to go home. Uh -huh. So Thanksgiving is like the the time. So we didn't have a Thanksgiving. Wait. Oh well. Wait. We haven't had a Thanksgiving together. <laughs> I, I was just thinking. I was just thinking of just like other times she's been home, but I'm like, oh yeah, she's actually never been. Not even last year. No. Mm -hmm. Or like Friendsgivings? Wow, actually wait, I came into this, this episode like, oh yeah, I can talk about that. <laughs> and like in this moment, I'm like, wait, oh wait, it hasn't happened yet. We haven't even had a Christmas together. Oh. oh. I feel like it, it matters because if your family also celebrates it, then there would be a split like Taylor. But then mm. if, if one family doesn't do it, then you just go to the other one. See, that, that's, a, that's a weird thing. Like not hating on like my family's Thanksgiving traditions, but it's not a huge, huge holiday mm -hmm. for us. Every Thanksgiving, whenever I see people's stories, and just these massive spreads, mm -hmm. both like Asian and Western, potluck style mm -hmm. food that goes on to like the edge of the table. I'm just always so jealous because like at my house, it's Aww. just like turkey, mm -hmm. mashed potatoes, cranberries. I mean, Thanksgiving wasn't like that big in my family either. Like right. I have vague memories of like the first Thanksgiving that I remember. I don't know how old I was. I don't know if like we celebrated when I was like a baby, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. like I, I remember like, oh, it's Thanksgiving and it seemed like we all forgot. And like we went to Boston Market and got Boston Market for Thanksgiving. Yeah, because my mm. family never celebrated Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Like, what we would do is either, like, if Popeyes was open, get Popeyes. Wait, really? Like, or, literally? Yeah, or we go to Mitsua because Mitsua is always mm. opened. Whoa. Yeah, so we would always just take out. We never, like, mm. cooked that much stuff or turkey at all. I didn't have turkey until, like, junior high. But when I got, went to my partner's, I was like, this is my first real Thanksgiving mm. meal. He did it legit. Yeah. Like, I, very American. Well, because they were like American, they were like third generation, so they mm. already had like it's the like Taylor. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> they had like a family potluck, but they would do like traditional dishes like turkey and stuffing oh. and everything. So I was a little excited. I was like, oh my gosh, this is like the TV show. They're yeah, gonna yeah, do yeah. the turkey thing. They're gonna do the turkey thing. <laughs> yeah. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> were your parents okay with you going because they didn't really care about the holiday? Yeah. They were oh. like, oh, sure, whatever. Had you already met his parents at that point? Yeah, I had met their parents. Okay. So is is your family still not, still not, after all these years, still not into Thanksgiving? No, I think the only thing is like, it would be holidays, so yeah. I would just like go you over. Would go. It would be an event because like I would visit, yeah. but then like Thanksgiving specifically, it wouldn't be like, oh, we're gonna mm. try to make turkey this year. Okay. It would still be takeout. But like, okay, so if you had 
Uh, sorry, you had a boyfriend. Right now. <laughs> that, I didn't mean. To, it's okay. I didn't mean. To it's fine. Plug out. If you had a boyfriend right now, <laughs> no, no, okay. would you go to like theirs? Because because it's, it's still not a big deal at your your home. Yeah, like I mean, if they had a bigger deal of it, I'd yeah. be like, yeah, sure. But, but like, isn't that Thanksgiving is still a reason to go back to Chicago for? Yeah. You oh, oh, I see. Right? Like see, if now they you're were, here. Yeah, yeah. What if, if they were LA? here? Yeah. Uh, I think I would do what Helen does probably, because mm. like mm. I mean, I'm assuming not important for you, like a big deal for you for Thanksgiving? It's not a big deal in terms of the execution, <laughs> but my my mom like, oh. loves it very much because it is like the one yeah. time we go back, yeah. If Taylor's going to his SOs, that means there's an, the open, there's an open seat. Yeah, it's like chairs, chairs, it's like tickets. I feel like I've seen some pretty good pictures. Mm. Of, <laughs> my sister makes pie. Dude, She's any really family good. that makes, the, like, that makes the, the, the baked goods homemade is gonna be a legit, <laughs> Overall dinner because they're not afraid to make everything then because I feel yeah. like I feel like if you're making the dessert That means you had time <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, You made everything else and you're like, you know what? Let's do in a pie it's like, what? <laughs> and, and baking requires a lot more planning. Too. Yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 a lot yes, of yes. time a lot of prep Maybe we should talk about just meeting parents in general Because mm. cool. I know not everyone yeah, it sounds like not everyone meets the family just on the holidays yeah. There's a, You might meet them before that. I'm just kind of curious how each of you guys are just with parents, you know, and that first uh, That first meet mm. and also actually like how your SOS have been in the past with meeting your parents I know that Phil thinks he's actually really good with parents <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. or I don't know. I'm fantastic with parents. <laughs> Okay, obviously you need to be very respectful. Mm -hmm. Bring over some fruit. Well, it depends. Are they generation <laughs> one or three? Okay, so my my experience is limited then, I'll admit. Yeah. It's always been like immigrant yeah. parents. Mm. So um, the fruit thing is very important. <laughs> yeah, some type of fruit. And speaking in language to them. Mm -hmm. So, ah. yeah, that helps out a lot if you can... English! <laughs> <laughs> but no, there were two parents that I couldn't speak the language. Mm. Mm. Um, so I try to like learn little things, just at least say thanks or hello. Mm, that's good. Wait, do Helen's parents speak Mandarin? Yeah, they speak oh, Mandarin, okay. yeah. Mm. And they speak English too, like, you know, um, they're okay on that. Oh, always ask to help, mm. you know? Like, don't just go and then go to, go to the person's room just or, go, or just sit there. Yeah, always offer to help. And if they're not doing anything, like, be like, oh, can I rake leaves? I don't know, like, helpful regardless. Yeah. Be helpful in any way. You need an oil change? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then ask, ask questions about them. Because I feel like the, if you're, like, all, you know, lovey-dovey mm -hmm. with the daughter, it'll make them feel uncomfortable. But if you're, like, lovey-dovey with them, mm -hmm. they'll be like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, you're, what, how, how are things with you when, when you met Nicole's parents? What did you do? I met them at her, like, college graduation. Aww. So it was actually with a ton of other family oh members. Oh, my God. It was good. I feel like I was just yeah. chill. Maybe if it wasn't like a dinner or like a cooking situation mm -hmm. where I can like help. You could have been like, I'll take the photos. Yeah, I'll take the Arrange photos. Arrange rides, want me to call yeah. lifts, what, what do you guys need? Were they, were they also nice to you though? Is that the They way? were very nice, yeah. Oh, yeah. It, was, it made it easy, they were mm. not as intimidating. Were you more intimidated by the dad or the mom? For some reason, it's dads. You yeah. Know? yeah. That's where I feel more intimidating. Usually. But like, once they kind of show that they're very comfortable and social mm -hmm. too, it's like, mm -hmm. okay, this is easy now. It's like, uh, mm -hmm. I can just be myself. Yeah. How did you prove to the dad that you- I don't know. You're worthy? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta ask him. I don't know what, he still might hate me. Who knows? <laughs> he might be fronting. All right, here's a question for, for everyone. Will you kiss your SO in front of the- No! Parents? No. No? Oh, you, have no. you not yet? No. You still haven't? In front of her parents? Yeah. No. What about you? I mean, at a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't you can't really that avoid it. No, just in general. <laughs> Is in that general. the first time they saw though? I don't know, maybe. I think it's better to just start throwing in little pecks here and there. Oh. Just so that they like, know that you're like a normal couple. <laughs> what are you working towards? <laughs> <laughs> just so that you're more comfortable. That's funny. Ew. So when wedding day comes, they're not like, <gasps> I'll be, you, you hold hands, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hand on a lower back. Mm. Little pat on the tush. It might be oh. enough. <laughs> I guess Helen's parents are chill. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm still. No, no, like, no. no, no, no I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay, so it's also different depending on what age you're. We're, we're meeting them yeah, too, sure, right? Sure. Like I've met parents when the SO was still living at home. Mm -hmm. mm. So that's a big difference too, mm -hmm. right? Because if they're living separate and then you guys are going to the parents' house, yeah. it's a very different scenario, right? If they're still living at home, I feel like that's like going into like truly a enemy. Yeah, a battlefield. Because mm -hmm. like. This is like their home that uh, they grew up in. So like, they were a baby here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, so they're also still like kind of like dependent on their them. house and yeah. dependent on them. So like the parents are like protect, maybe a little yeah. bit more protective. Oh, here's a, here's a trick also. Um, not trick, but like put food on to your partner's plate. 
I feel like that telegraphs mm. to the parents that that's so small. It feels I, good. At really? Least. No, I just I just remember that that's, that's what someone look. told me oh. that that their parents brought up later. That when I did oh. that, because I I didn't do that. Oh. Like I wasn't doing that like in a calculator. I'm gonna do this. To yeah, do it. Yeah, it was yeah. just natural. And so when the parents saw that, they're like, oh, he he will he was he's he's thoughtful. Mm -hmm. What about the girl part? You do that too? Yeah. That is actually a good question. Let's segue to Michelle. Huh? <laughs> There's probably different <laughs> tips when it comes just to being a female, uh, right? So yeah. and like how to approach meeting the parents and presenting yourself. I think for me, like, because I grew up like with immigrant parents, so mm -hmm. they have all these traditions too. It's like whenever I'm gonna go to their place, like my partner's place, my mom would be like, oh, bring this too, or bring this too. Mm. But I don't know if his parents care because they were more like their generation. When you're talking about how like you talk to the parent and get to know them, I'm like, I didn't do that. <laughs> and and that's like, why they're not together anymore. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> like, he, he has some side conversation with his parents. I don't know about this Michelle girl. <laughs> She just comes for Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we only see her once. We only see her once a year. And yeah. You just eat by yourself in the corner. I would try to talk a little bit, but I'm also really shy. For my my boyfriend at the time, he was like he didn't speak any like Mandarin or anything. So mm. my mom and my dad do. So I think he felt a little bit more nervous. He he wanted to try to be able to talk yeah. to my mom. And my mom tried a lot. I think her English is pretty good, but like my dad's is not as good as my mom's. I think. Yeah. So like. That conversation was more limited. Yeah. Like whenever we have dinner all together with my my family, and I think it's a little bit more awkward. Yeah. Both parties are trying their best. Right. So. Yeah. No. I've, I've I've had two situations where the English wasn't good, or, mm -hmm. or and and also I couldn't communicate them with mm -hmm. in Chinese, so it was always super awkward. And sometimes in those situations, I actually felt like the parents were just like. They just kind of gave up. And, <laughs> like, just go, they, yeah, yeah, go yeah. do whatever. It's okay. Yeah. I, don't, I don't need to. Yeah. And, or maybe they just thought I wouldn't be around like in the, in the year. Oh. <laughs> yeah. they, didn't, they didn't want to invest that time. I don't know. He has another language. It's fine. <laughs> just get, out of here. get out of here. How are things when you first met Jessica's parents? I mean, Jessica's my first like real relationship, mm -hmm. right? So everything was pretty new to me. And like, yeah, I had the oh, let's talk on the <gasps> side. <gasps> Whoa. Oh. And I mentioned this on another lunch yeah, break. Yeah, I think you did. Right. We did with like Julie. So right. what? How, what age were? You? I was 19, she was 18. Oh my god, okay, so that was young. Yeah, very so I was young. pretty young. If anything, once I got to like 19, I, f I feel like I had a lot more self confidence getting through like that first year of college and like mm -hmm. uh -huh. understanding <laughs> social <laughs> interaction a little so more. so young. I, it's still it's very young. So yeah, young. Yeah. But I think I was at least more sure of like who I was at that time so I could be honest and not mm. like, you know what I mean? So then, like, on the other side, it's like, my mom, we're, we're all generally pretty introverted. I okay. Think. okay. Um, and then when she met Jessica, they, were, they just, they talk all oh, the time. Oh, that's great. So like, I've learned a lot about her history through, you know, Jessica being able to talk. That's always interesting. Wait, that's true. That's so interesting. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I hear stories mm -hmm. that they're telling my girlfriend, and I'm like, how come you've never told me yeah. that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> to Betsy's point about like meeting parents when you're younger, I feel like it changes as time goes on too. Because mm -hmm. I think like, when you first meet your parents, it's like, oh, I, you're trying to prove that you're a good person. Yeah. You know, mm. like you're a nice person. But then later, as you go years into it, it's now like, oh, like, can you support right. and protect yeah. mm -hmm. this? Is that a, a predominantly a male, like, kind of expectation? I don't know. Like, I guess, Michelle, do you feel like, maybe on, on a similar wavelength, like, I need to show that I can also yeah, take care of. Well, I was really young too. Yeah. Mm. I think when I met, their parents, I was like 20. Mm. Like my concern at the time was like, oh, I hope they like me. Yeah. Um, but for my mom and my dad, cause he was a little older, mm -hmm. they were like, can he support my daughter? Mm -hmm. yeah. And like make her feel loved. Like my mom and my dad were like, as long as you're happy, mm -hmm. the other things would be nice too, but yeah. your happiness is the, the most important mm. first. Yeah, that's true. How were your parents to Nicole? I think it was nice. They, they, they were very warm. Your parents are very warm. Yeah. I think Nicole is very nervous. Aww. I think I, I, I think there's a, a little intimidation. I, I would say your parents are pretty intimidating, actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh. See, I, 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 I didn't think it agree? was. Really? I, I didn't think, think, think so? it was until later. Not in like a scary way, more just like I really want to impress you. Oh, yeah, mm. and I need to be on my best, give my best, or whatever. Yeah. I think it's because they're very accomplished. Maybe yeah, they've yeah, raised yeah. very upstanding children as well. So I feel like they have high standards of what. Young yeah. people should be like. I, I haven't really interacted with Taylor's dad. Oh yeah, but yeah, I feel yeah. like your Cause, mom cause... is like kind of like a, like a teacher. Oh. <laughs> you know I mean? Like a school. She teacher. actually is a teacher. She teaches oh. at, at Northridge actually. No. Oh. Yeah. What? 
All right, as you're chewing, we just wanted to give another quick shout out to our sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. Man, I remember when Wang Fu was first starting out, I was designing the website by hand, learning the HTML, and it was such a pain, but now Squarespace makes it so simple. One of their features, Video Blocks, allows us to feature our video work super seamless and beautifully, and I can tell you that I would not have been able to do that back in the day on my own. There's no need to spend countless hours learning how to code a website like I did back in the day. There's templates that Squarespace offers that are super elegant and work seamlessly with any device. To learn more about the other features offered, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to finally make your website, make sure to use our code WONGFU at checkout to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain name. Links are all in the descriptions below. Now let's get back to the episode. Phil, you're about to be a parent. Ooh. You know? Well, so that's what I was going to bring up, like, like that mm -hmm. perspective of how I would want to be treated yeah. now, too. Like, I think that's what I'm bringing in now. Mm. I'm like, yeah, like, this, whoever this new guy is, yeah, better be very friendly to or me. Or girl, right. Yeah, or girl. Um, very respectful. Have good manners. It's so far away. I don't want to think about that. I mean, it's Maybe fun. In it's like fun to think. Sixteen years. Sixteen is too early. <laughs> it's you know how you know how fast no. kids are growing. It'll be like TikTok. Twelve, I know. It'll be TikTok? like twelve, thirteen. Oh God. Like, I have Eight a years old. I'll just say this: if any of my uh, children brought either of you, any of you over, I would be very um, pleased. Aww. Yeah. Would I'm be gonna be like a fifty-year-old. <laughs> 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 Are you sure about you better, that, Bill? You better, you know, change the wording a okay, little bit. Okay. If my son brought you back at a 50-year-old age, I'd be like, what the F is going on? In his life. All right, we have some questions from the care holders. Oh, okay. yes. Maybe we can help them out. Jay asks, if the parent's first language was not English and you don't speak that language, would you attempt to learn the greetings and something small to impress them? I know I just said that, like, I did that, but I'm wondering, like, I, in reality, like, if you can't have, full, have a full conversation with them, would they be impressed if you just said, Hello, thank yeah. you. In, 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 <laughs> yeah. I think so. Accent, you think they would still? I think it's like the attempt was there, the intention was there, so I think they would like mm. it. Okay, I think it's a conversation you got to have with the, your SO too. Yeah. Mm. And like, hey, would they appreciate this and stuff? Uh, Bernadette asks, would you or your family expect your SO to be involved in preparations leading up to the festivities? If so, how much in what areas? Like cooking, buying gifts, decorating? I think the expectation is sounds like too heavy. If your family expects your SO to be involved, I would say your, your family has pretty high standards. Yeah. yeah. I would be nervous <laughs> to, yeah. to go to that family. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's why it's just like good rule of thumb if you're going to someone's house to offer that help. Mm -hmm. you know? And if you're gonna offer it, be ready to actually do it. I feel really bad one time, like I, I went over, uh, I was in Boston and, and Helen was, her sister was having a baby shower. And I think just the time difference just like messed me up Aww. and like, I just slept through all their prep and I just oh, I felt so gosh. bad. Like I came out and they were like, no, it's fine, it's fine, you're tired, you're tired. But I just I just felt like yeah. crap. <laughs> Offer within your means. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. I could cook the cake. What? Why did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> Last one from T. How do you decide whose family to visit first as a couple Ooh. if both families celebrate the same holiday? Actually, that's literally what you're going through. How did you decide? Oh. They haven't decided yet. Our Thanksgivings are getting a little smaller now because our families are mm -hmm. all uh, have like babies and kids across the country. And then also traveling is just really hard for a lot of mm -hmm. extended family. So it's a, it's a little convenient timing that it's like an easier mm -hmm. and there's precedent to where you can like go off a year and mm -hmm. do Thanksgiving in a different house. Yeah. But doesn't that make your mom feel like yeah. even more like you <laughs> should be back? <laughs> I think it's a, it's maybe it's a, the alternating thing might be a good way to go. I don't know, like, I, I would say also maybe if I was a parent and having to, like, mm -hmm. see my son go off to the daughter's side first, I could see that as the son is trying to show that family, hey, I, I'm putting your daughter's needs first, mm -hmm. and I can mm -hmm. respect that my son's doing that, so mm -hmm. hopefully that's what your parents will. It's all very tactical. Yeah, yeah. a little bit, yeah. This is funny because like, <laughs> this video is gonna come out on Thanksgiving and I'll be like either at Nicole's <laughs> family place or, <laughs> or at my family. They'll be watching it, you know, probably. Phil's asked to come over to Thanksgiving. <laughs> you know what, it really is like that. It's because you want that family, things, <laughs> like, you know, American. It's like, I want to see what it's like. Yeah. yeah. But still Asian, so it's like a little bit of, you know, yeah. you get, you get the best of you, both worlds. I assume you turned down the... <laughs> I thought it was a joke, maybe? <laughs> you know, he says it's a joke, but to this day, I still have not gotten an invitation, so... <laughs> but go. Phil's like putting stuff on Taylor's plate. Like. <laughs> but, but I understand, Marsha. You know, I understand <laughs> what needs to, you know, if there's not enough space. Start for... with some pecs, little yeah. pecs <laughs> first, right? <laughs> 
I, I'm just saying I can take care of your son. <laughs> Before this episode gets too heated, I think you know we should just thank our care holders for, yeah. for hanging out with us. There were some pretty good tips here. But yeah, let us know what you thought if you have any advice for uh, people meeting uh, SO's parents during the holidays or anything like that. Any horror stories? Let us know too. Oh, <laughs> and then the holiday season obviously is a big shopping season too. So if you want to support a small business like ours online, we have our Nara <laughs> store. Nara! So be sure to check out narastore.com. Yes, and we have a new collection mm -hmm. that came out. Ah. This is a preview. We also got a crazy Black Friday sale going on right now. So once again, narastore.com if you want to support our little channel over here. Woo. Yay! Other ways to support is our Patreon if you want to go check us out there. Patreon.com slash Wangfu Productions. See you guys next time. Bye! Bye. Bye. Happy Bye. Thanksgiving!